love your neighbor as yourself do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow we will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own man does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of god who of you by worrying can add a single hour to his life let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your father in heaven so in everything do to others what you would have them do to you whoever has the will be given more whoever does not have even what he has will be taken from him why do you look at the speck of shadow in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye only in his hometown among his relatives and his own house is a prophet without honor love your enemies do good to those who hate you bless those who curse you pray for those who mistreat you do not judge for you too will be judged give to everyone who asks you and if anyone takes what belongs to you do not demand it back if you forgive men when they sin against you your heavenly father will also forgive you make a tree good and its fruit will be good make a tree bad and its fruit will be bad for a tree is recognized by its fruit be careful not to your acts of righteousness before men to be seen by them no one can serve two masters either he will hate the one and love the other or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other nothing outside a man can make him unclean by going into him rather it is what comes out of a man that makes him unclean he was the salt of the earth but if the salt loses its saltness how can it be made salty again it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men was out for false prophets they comes to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are fresh as wolves ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock at the door will be open to you do not worry about your life what you will eat or drink or about your body what you will wear isn't life more important than food and the body more important than clothes what is impossible with men is possible with god come to me all you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest was out be on your guard against all kinds of greed a man's life does not consist of the abundance of his possessions but when you pray go into your room close the door and pray to your father who was unseen then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you